The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday, last day of the week, the 5th of August, and we're looking at a very interesting market. Let me just, just go straight to this because I've got my webinar coming up on, on Wednesday. I, I, I need to show you a couple of things that happened. I did this prior to the market i wish i had done the other one and i thought now nah, i'll leave it because i'll do it live during the show and i left and what a pity because that would have been good so the um the 120 minute e-mini was trading up at the uh, 14 somewhere around the 4166 level or right here at about what was it 22 uh that was last night at about 10 10 o'clock and then it starts to come down and what I had drawn in, this was in the evening, uh, let's see, five. I had drawn this in about, I can't remember where it was. I think I did this last night just before I, I, I left all, all my stuff and uh, decided to go and read. I, I drew this in. And I chose that as the fulcrum, as the midpoint, as the plumb line. And I drew in the left side, right side. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put this in because I've been doing it a lot lately. I'd never done it before. I'd always drawn in the, the, um, the crosshairs so that the arch or the, the rectangle left side number of bars, I call it the, the um, it's really the equity of the bars on the left side to the bars on the right side. But I'd never really put down the price and the time. I just took it for granted that that would be it. But I've been doing that for the last two weeks on, on these uh, trades uh, and certainly on these positions. And I wrote in 7.20 a.m. at 41.47, and that was the low that was made yesterday at four, just after 4 o'clock when there was a dip to the 41.40s. And I put in 41.47.50. So the price comes down. And it goes to exactly that at 7.20 and it starts to bounce. And I had sent out at eight, uh, just before 8 o'clock, or just, it must have got just after 8 o'clock to my subscribers, that we want to take profits in our three times, in at least two of our three times long positions, only because, just to take a tad off, because these are trading vehicles. And it seemed to me that it was most appropriate to take something off and keep the you know a, lot, a huge core position we still have because we've just taken a little bits off, and uh, that was quite timely. And then what happened is they, it ran to a peak B and it smashed down. And the uh, where was it? Yes, so it smashed down and went all the way down to forty one oh three point seventy five. So then I'm looking at this, and what happened is in the chat wave methodology, and this is what I'm going to be teaching. The reason why I'm doing this now is because this is exactly what I'll be doing uh, to show you the same methodology that works for the one minute, the five minute, the 10 minute charts uh, can be thought of as time sequences in the daily, weekly, monthly charts. Um, so you're learning the technique, but I've, it's as if I've just, all I've done is I've accelerated the time, but nothing else changes. So then, you know, I talk about a, a rectangle, a narrow rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Well, lo and behold, once we hit that low of 4103.75, we went sideways, but I drew in at the bottom here. You can see that I chose peak A, peak B. That low wasn't taken out with a tiny little doji low. It went pulled back and made a great peak A and B because it was under the previous one. And then it started to see. But before that, I chose a particular candle to do a left side, right side price time match. And I put in 41.2650 by 9.40 a.m. And lo and behold... This is a beautiful, this is the bowl. I spent a whole bunch of time yesterday and the day before talking about this bowl formation. Now, when it breaks to the upside, you can actually expand the, um, 
the midpoint of the bowl to the upside if you if everything works out but your objective always in the Chapman wave is to get from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode to at least a peak D you can go E F and G but D is your objective well what did this do it went to a peak D what's the other thing I've spent months and months and months talking about the importance of a 200 period exponential moving average why because it's 200 bars look back that's a long time 200 bars well the 200 bars said that the 200 period exponential moving average which the um, e-mini one of the chart was trading above from about seven o'clock to 7 30 this morning and ignoring went to a peak D in the daily chart just before the uh, it was like th two minutes or three minutes before the news came out at 8:30, and then plunged below the 200 period moving average. What's important about the 200 period moving? Nothing when you're down here. But what's your target on the upside? Boom! It goes to just under the at at uh, 9:40. It goes to I don't know what it went to. Oh, my target was 41.2650. It went to. Uh, 41, 30.50, just under the 200 period moving average, pulls back. The technique that I'm going to teach you how to hold the position longer than you would think uh, keeps you in the trade, still keeps you in the trade. Then it goes to peak A, peak B. It hangs around. It can't break that 200 period moving average. Tries it again at leg C. Can't do it. Pulls back and then whoosh. It goes up to a D, pulls back again, and now it's made an E. And what I want you to do, and I, I'm so sorry I never did it because that is the next step in the in the methodology that I like to teach, is that this very ugly candle, this huge candle at 8.30, I want you to say, I would now go to not the high because you have to go one step at a time. It would be silly to say, oh, we're going right back to the high of 8.28 this morning. Uh -uh. I like to go to about the halfway marker. And I would have drawn in a left side, right side price time match. Well, this one I would have thought was too short. It needed more time. So I would have gone to a next candle or a focal point of, of importance. And I would have put it in somewhere over, somewhere over here at the bottom right there. And then I would have said left side, right side price time match. Can it do it? And as it was working along, if it started to move that way, I'd say, okay, I either move it, my plumb line has to be moved, whatever. And um, so let me just see what I would have done right there. And now let's go to the right and see what it was. And it missed it by a certain amount of time, but it certainly got there in a later time frame. So as it was moving to the right, I would have said, visually, it just doesn't look right. I can't do it mathematically, and I probably would have gone to the next lower low, which would have been this right in this cluster here, which would have moved me up about six bars, and there would have been six bars there, and then six bars again, and that would have taken me somewhere close to D. So that's the way I would, would have worked it. But history is, I mean, you can look back at history and you can say anything you want. Nobody can argue because these are the facts. Facts are that in this particular instance, um, it would have had to be quite a bit more than the 940 time frame. So here it is. And where is it now? Is this a leg F or is this a brand new at 41.49? Where was the breakdown? The breakdown was right here at 41.58, was it? Let me just check that out. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. So I keep, I keep getting asked, what, what do you do? Uh, I call it a live trading. You know, it's live and you could be trading. Whenever I've done it, there have been people that have actually been trading. I consider it to be important to be teaching because that's the way you can repeat that process over and over, not get a one-time gain or whatever it is. Um, so it's still a difficult for me because I don't know if I can actually set myself up to actually click uh, the buys and sells on the different things. I don't know if I can change all the different parameters quick enough. As it is, I was so busy with this this morning, I had everything in place. I forgot to hit the buy button right here. When, it, when I got this crossover of the nine period moving average at 41.11. And here we are at 41.48. Uh, so I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know yet. But what I have done is in my little, the preamble, the little booklet is actually just, it's notes on, on the different techniques. I, I've refined it to the point where I'm really comfortable with it, that I will send, uh, sending it out to uh, um, people, attendees to my workshop. And it'll be succinct. It'll be, you won't have to scroll through dozens and dozens of pages. It's just going to be read. You'll read it. It'll be very clear. I'd like you to get it before the webinar. And I'll, I'll still make a decision because if I can set it up in such a way that I'm, it's just a matter of being comfortable. It's not a matter of doing it. I do it all the time. Um, and we can, and I'll change to whatever you want to look at. For instance, if you're looking at, uh, what, 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 name me something. We were looking at Apple yesterday. Let's go to Apple again. So maybe if it's a trade, you want to trade just a short term. I mean, a small, a lower price. You don't want to trade a $165 stock. But look, yeah, there's your low bar. There's your peak, peak A. Peak B, what's your objective? Is always to get to a D. A D, other things can happen. There it is, it's stalled. But then it started a brand new A, B, C. That's not quite a D. And there's your D. You could even touch an E. I mean, this is there's the technique right here. We just did it. Now, that's history. I like to do it like I did the other day when you're doing it live. And uh, that's important. Uh, you could play, let's say you want to trade. Uh, somebody give me a low price stock. Uh, we've got a question in the agenda about GNUS. Let's see what that is. Okay, that, that's not enough bars. That's something different. We'll look at that in the. Um, uh, let's look at. 
Well, I just had one pop up. Um, trying to think low price, low price, low price. All right, let's go to NG. We don't have this. We did have it once. We don't have it right now. Nope, I don't like it. It needs more bars. Give me something low price. Anybody in the Dan? Just something in the in the teens or the or the single digits where you've got a lot of volume so that I can do it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, question. Uh, T I T N. All right, here we go. T I T N. Not not enough bars. I need to have bars. This this works. Just fine. It's just that it's, there's not much point. Oh, CX, good question. CX, CX. Uh, it's no for for a one minute chart. I need something that really has a lot of volume. Um, I, let me see. Uh, why, why am I forgetting it? I know these stocks like the back of my hand. Why why am I suddenly stalling here? Stock that's. Oh, uh, let's go to. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the inverse of the uh, TQQQ. There you are. The T. There you are. That's price movement. It's low enough. It's thirty-five dollars. So yes, we we do own the TQQ. We took a little bit of a profit this morning. That was on on our one of our positions, and it was like a thirty-one percent gain. Still have the core position. Still have another position as well. We're also using that as trading vehicle. So here we go. Look, peak A, peak B, peak C. Uh, that is not a D. It didn't go higher. So you have to wait. Now, what I tend to do, and this is what I'm going to teach because it really helps to, uh, to know this particular technique. If you get a little wiggle in, say, the unbalanced volume right at the P, the second C, I'm prepared then to say this is a peak C1 and this is a peak C2 right there. And now what we've got is a pullback as if it was a peak D because everything met the criteria. And now we've started a brand new A. B, C, D, and now I continue because to get a, a second buy mode um, and then think that this could be a Chapman Wave instant restart, that's just asking a lot for this particular um, uh, thing. So I go to an E and an F. So in the trade itself, I haven't got a sell signal. Look, green is still way above the 14. It's nicely above the 200 period moving average of 35.82. TQQQ, the Pro Shares Ultra Pro um, QQQ series, 300% long. Um, not a bad trade. I mean, it's gone from, uh, let's just say you only recognize right here at 34.65. It's now 35.90 a point. That's a that's a huge percentage on a 20-minute on a 20 minute, 20 minute trade. So we're just looking at this, and all I'm saying is, I, I have, these are the types of techniques that I want you to be able to use, and um, I, 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 to call it a traders a trading workshop is very different to, to doing trades within the workshop because you're demonstrating the techniques. I have now refined the the, the verbiage that I give and the patterns that I, I give for you to. Uh, have as a as a core to study over the, over the uh, when you as soon as you sign up, it'll be sent to you. And at the same time, I've done all the work, but I just I haven't got myself set up at all to actually to put on all the different trades. I, 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 that's going to make a difference. So let me just pre press this E S U U to go back. That's a, it's a pity because we do the trades, just, but to make it official. I don't want to mess around. It's either going to be official. I make that. I, I don't have any problem doing it. I have a technical issue that I need to deal with. Okay, let's get back to our story. It's enough already. Uh, so these are all the things. This is just live. Let me show you now. Question on GNSU. It's in leg C at point ninety. G N G G N E. Gen Genus. I can never remember what it is, and it's always brought up. And I I used to. I had this notated a long time ago. Uh, Genus Brands International Inc. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, a question came in uh, about uh, Larry. Yeah, Larry is feeling a lot better, and he should be on Monday, and he'll be switching time. See, time uh, with uh, Larry is going to take Steve Rhodes' time. Steve's going to take Larry's time. So Larry will be doing the later time, the 1 o'clock, and Steve will be doing the earlier time, the 11 o'clock. So just let me look at this. What is it? 
actually, I, I want to do other things as well. So I'll do this real quickly. I'll, I'll put in what does Genus, Genus Brands. I used to remember well, but now I don't. Genus Brands, I think it's a conglomeration. Do. Uh, yeah, so leading global kids media company developing produce. Ah, I now remember. A licensing and broadcasting branded children's entertainment properties and consumer products for media and retail distribution. I like it very much as a sector that has upside potential. I don't know anything about it, but that is an area when it comes to kids, parents are prepared to pay quite a bit. But I'm going to look at it purely as a chart formation. And the chart says, and of course, remember, you're, trading, uh, you're looking at a, a, a 89 cent stocks. So this is just for a very few people. Uh, and it's got a rectangle formation. Oh, I'll talk about this because 95 cents would be the big issue. Basil Chapman, Tiger Nation, Sour Dow's down 25, SMS down 5. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Of course, we're looking at GNUS trading at 89 cents up 4 cents. Genus Brands Inc. does a whole bunch of children's programming, branded children's products, media, retail distribution, etc. I, I like this. This is in leg C. Remember the cup formation we looked at yesterday with Apple? So this is two rallies. And this has taken the longest period to get back to that kind of 90 level where it was. I think it was just over 90. What was 91? Uh, 93 high on the 18th of May, then made a cup formation, and then took forever to come back and actually just nicked the left side low at the little doji can, two doji candles, and started to move up. I like it, but it's a different kind of category altogether. This is one where you, I would not put a huge amount of money in. I'd put money to say, hey, if this if this doubles or triples at any point, it'll just be a nice, it'll be a nice uh, a addition 
to give me some cushion uh, in my portfolio. Um, not enough to make a big difference because, hey, do you want to become a billionaire uh, buying you know, uh, half a million of these and then have it go down to uh, five cents at some point or back again to even the 50 cent level, get cut in half? Or um, in other words, if it goes up very sharply to the fives or something like that? Uh, no, I think this is where you, you, you buy it. I like it. I think it's acting very well. It's making enough movements to get to the magnet of the 0.95 200 period moving average. And then it might stall a little bit. This is one of those that if it works, it needs to really quickly get to the major left side high that was back in March. I think it was March, end of March. Yeah, March the 29th. It had a high of $1.15. That doesn't sound much like much. You're going, for, you're going from 90 or uh, um, 89 to uh, 11, I mean, that's that's a really nice percentage gain. So yes, I like it. Um, I Where would I add to it? I'd add to it at about the 0.83 level to point, I don't actually want to get to 8, 8, 1, but 0.83 8, 8, or high, just under 0.85, maybe add a little bit, but treat this only as a trade. It doesn't matter if instead of being at 90 cents, it could be $9, think of it that way. Um, and at the same time, it's getting closer and closer. If it can get to 0 0.92, that 95 level on the uh, 200 period moving average is a magnet. It hasn't been there for a long time. And once it does that, it might chop around. What you really want to see with a low price stock like this, under a dollar, is that it very quickly goes to the 1.25 level. If it does that, uh, it, that's fabulous action. Then it goes back to the category that says, all it looks like a biotech. All those big spikes of the spike that was made back in, this is GNUS, the spike that was made back in, in August of 2020, uh, that's uh, two years ago, when it went from 1.05 to 2, um, that's a huge move. Oh, what am I talking about to 2? Well, I didn't even see that. I meant to say to 11.73, 11.73, and then close back at that level. And it's done that a number of times, a big move up, and then it closes the bottom. You want the big move up, and then I would say take as much as you can and keep a core position. That's the best way to trade it. All right, we're talking about GNUS. All right, now we want to get to some other things. Um, I, I want you to just point out that this is the period, the objective in the Chapman wave is to what? is to get you from a buy signal, from an introductory entry at, at a low point, to get you a peak A and a, and a B, and, and at some point, you want an upgrade from a buy signal to a buy mode, where the implication is that all the technicals are suggesting this particular instrument that you're trading should go, or positioning, should go to at least a D. At D, other things can happen. Yes, it can go higher, but that's kind of often where it starts to stall. So once again, in the, in the chap wave methodology, identify the low bar, count each successively peak at the fourth highest peak. Other things can happen. It can recycle. There's a whole bunch of things that I'll be teaching or reviewing for those of you who know my work well. Um, and that's what we'll be looking at. So now what I'm looking at in terms of uh, patterns, let's just do this because I didn't do it earlier on. Look, here's the Dow. What was the objective? We had a buy signal from the low, and we've added to the diamonds in and out. You know, we've had... A good good positions, and now it's gone to PD, and my rule of one three six, meaning one a a, a, resol, um, a one day resolution to just digest gains is fantastic. Three days mm, is re is really good, but when you get to six days, it just means you have to trigger a whole new buy signal, which is kind of what happened right here on that move January around about the 13th or so. And it did. It went peak C and then three bars, two bars rest, the third bar started and you moved leg D. Doji candles. I have a particular doji candles. Look like a plus sign. They're really important to monitor. When you get there, other things can happen. The closer you get to the 200 period moving average, the greater the chances are it will become a magnet. I have a whole section now that I'm going to talk about magnets. It's the Chapman Wave Inside Track repellent propellant magnet line this is the media um, this is the uh, zone that we talk about 
when it broke out, I said, this is going to have to be support. And then you want to move up. You can't go one to one to the upside. And it's done that. Look at the S&P. What's the S&P do? Uh, S&P went to a peak D. Little tiny doji candle. We call that in Chaffin Wave methodology. A silent doji because it was off the high. Unlike the low, which was a doji candle. at uh, On the 17th of June at 2636.87. Here we are. With a, a, a doji candle and says, if you close below this left side low, you can take a little longer to digest these gains. You've got to be careful there. But at the same time, what are we looking at? Isn't this good action? Minus 10 after this terrible news about, well, wonderful news for the the pay, the uh, for the for the number of people in the pay the payments the everything to do with it the the jobs the the payroll count, just everything about it is good, except that's not what the Fed wanted to see. That's okay. I think it's really important. I think it's more important probably than the Fed at this particular time. And here we are in the Chapman Wave uh, instant restart. Sorry, that's something separate. In the Chapman Wave repellent zone right there. Let me get that back again. I moved it. There it is. So this becomes green. Once you get close to it, it becomes green. Underneath it, just a fraction of an inch, I draw another one, and all of you have parallel lines, so there should be no, no excuses not to be able to use some of these techniques. Maybe you don't have the arch formation. You can make it up like a V. It doesn't matter. It's the principle of going from one point down and then back to that point, or one point up and then back to that point. So this is now the resistance, the repellent zone. It was a repellent zone before. Will it do that again? We just don't know, okay? But in the meantime, holding pretty darn well. Chapman Wave Roman Candle. I'll talk about that just in passing because unless it shows up, it doesn't happen that often. It's just something to know about. The whole rule of thumb about the Chapman Wave Roman Candle, which made the high of 48.18.62 in the monthly chart of the S&P when it did that uh, a, a, a month after the top in October of 2007, we said, whoa, be careful. A break under the wick would be very negative, and that's what we got. Here yeah, we've got two breaks under the wick. We've got another Chapman Wave Roman candle, and it's been going down. Now we're looking at the first gray leg A in the monthly chart. There's a lot of work to be done, but this is still not bad action when you think about everything that's gone on for the last seven months. And the fact that 48.18 to 36.36, uh, 30 what something percent, um, it's kind of what you see in a, in a normal a retracement in the S&P. This is maybe not a normal one. We'll see what happens there. Look at the uh, QQQ. We're along the QQ, aggressively along the, the QQQs because we've got the 300% long. But our whittling just a little bit each time it gets to what we want as a target. This is the leg E. Fabulous action chapter wave inside track. is the repellent zone. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technician. So let's see what happens with the this coming Wednesday, August 10th, Basil Chapman will be hosting an all-day live webinar from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Eastern Time, where he'll be presenting the technical tools based on the Chapman Wave methodology, a full in-depth course on his entire trading system. Over the five hours of live education, Basil will discuss studying and practicing entry and exit points, assessing where to add or subtract from positions, utilizing simple technical tools for holding positions longer, taking bear charts and adding notations, tools, and patterns, as well as identifying three core formations that repeat in every time frame and much more. When you sign up, you get a chart booklet emailed to you immediately to start studying, and you gain access to his daily newsletter, The Opening Call, a $149 value. The cost to attend is only $295, and the full five hours will be archived. Don't miss this live special event Wednesday, August 10th with Basil Chapman. For all the details and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hello, folks. So, yes, look at that. That was a peak F. It never broke that high right there. That was it. And the one minute chart at 4153.25 and now you've got what a rectangle formation a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience so that gives us time to do all the other things that i wanted to do let's go to microsoft the question was uh, microsoft uh, is uh, trading uh, five day trading days ago it had a round number high of 282 microsoft msft did i notate that i think i did no i forgot um I did notate, what was it that had a round number low? One of the key stars, was a test or something had a round number low and then moved out from there. Remember, I look at round numbers. I'll talk about round numbers as well. If it comes up in my webinar, I uh, can't cover every single thing in detail, but I can cover everything as, uh, by the way, such and such and such and such. So Microsoft is making a peak E as we speak. Uh, oh, I got that. should be a plus sign. I always put a plus sign above the D and the E. Um, now trading above number okay so this is really important i i love that question um and that that to me is so important in the sense that it gives you so hector this is what happens look you've got um microsoft on the on the 29th of july makes a round number 282 at a leg d that becomes a peak D with a doji candle and another pullback. And then just a modest high the next day, uh, that's three days later, the next day after the, the, the trough is made. And it goes to a leg E and it goes to another higher E on uh, the 4th, that's yesterday, at 283.80, I think it was, yep, 283.80. And today's high so far is 283.65, 16 cents away from uh, making a, a new recovery high. But look at the chat wave inside. Uh, this is the this is the channel. Remember now, I've, I've worked with channels ever since I began, ever since I could draw a straight line. I've worked with channels. I talk about channels all the time. I have a way of looking at it. And one of the most important ways is that it needs to break. Uh, let's just do this. And then I'm just going to check on the time. There's a lot I want to get through today. Yes. So this, I'm going to make this, uh, I'll do a lot more on this um, uh, on Monday, but this is what you need to look at. So you see this chap wave inside track. Just It's so easy to draw. You can even print it out and just draw it. You don't even have to draw it, actually. I do it visually. I mostly draw it so that people can see it because I can see it otherwise. Look, I knew that this is a trend line down. Now, this like the Dow was treated the breakout in its daily chart um, and turn the propellant, the, the repellent zone into a propellant zone, 269 to two, 268 to 272 is really important in this coming week for uh, Microsoft to hold. At this particular point, it looks just a tad overbought, but the 200 period moving average, which it didn't even know about, didn't even ignore it, hadn't even heard of a 200 period moving average while it was trading down at 241 because it was so far away. 
Look what happened. It gapped down back in April below it, and it said goodbye. That's it. After that peak D top, peak D in the chart wave. And then what happens? It goes peak ABC, then a new ABC underneath that previous. That's called an overlapping wave when it gets to a D. And that D is very sharp, and it takes you right to the 200 period moving average. Now we're at D. It's showing good relative strength. I'm suggesting to you that Microsoft is trying to build a base from which to start another move up that can take it into the 290s. Until it does that, it might have to just chop around you a little bit more. Now, this has the potential to become a Chapman wave right there, stalk leg formation, because so far it isn't a rectangle. It is definitely looking more like an oval. So if it takes the time, doesn't break, it cannot break. In this pattern, it just it cannot break this low right here. It changes the pattern. It might have the same result. That's 272.38. So far, it's acting well. And it suggests that if it takes out by Tuesday or Wednesday, 290, 294, today's high is 283. That is a breakout of significance. And all of a sudden, it's starting to propel itself into an area it hasn't been since April. And that's the reason why I'm saying I want to remain along. I'm not a bear. I'm a bull. But there are certain stocks that have had a big move to the downside and are only now starting to move higher. And that puts it to the category of the reason why I wanted the, the QQQs. ARKK is still on my list to enter on, a, on, a, on another big pullback. We'll see. Because I think those stocks can have more to the upside. And a stock like Microsoft, which has gone for over uh, eight months from its high at 349 back in November to the low that was made 241 just recently, this is starting to move to the upside, and that's a good sign. XOM, if time permits, I'll just do that right now. XOM made a peak B underneath the previous high. This is a pattern I'm always afraid of because it could be spectacular, but it could be a spectacular failure. This peak F in the monthly chart with Exxon at 105.57 in the at peak F in the monthly chart is suggesting that it is trying to form a new base, but it is not... It is not the leader that it was before, and therefore you've got to be really careful. Is this a trap for the bulls of the best? I'm just saying to you that I think that Exxon is going to be trading, XOM trading at 89.45, 2.25. I think it's going to be in a trading range for the entire next week, going between, I'd say, 92.70, but it must hold 86, I'm going to say 85.50. A break under 85.50 says that's the that's the pattern that works fantastically. But if it fails on that right shoulder, this, this is called a right arm failure pattern right here. Or, or um, this is a single leg A to the upside that could become a dreaded H. I'm worrying about that. The move that we saw the last two days, that's not good. And it tells me that energy uh, is very specific. For instance, we have an energy stock, but it's also natural gas, and it's gone from 45 to 51 just recently. Uh, so that, and I should add that if you if you sign up for my course, you get my my newsletter, and uh, we we've had some really good good positions in the yeah. Not everything's worked, but we've had some really big moves in the in, in the newsletter. So uh, that's important. Um, now, so that was that. The next question came in. Let me just go this one at a time. I hope I'm not skipping anything. Um, KZIA, KZIA. Yeah, this is the. I can't do KZIA. Dollar ninety seven. This is just way too risky. Um, there has to be news. This is Kazai, something, uh, therapeutics. So something's gone wrong here. We the, some of the therapeutic stocks are just unbelievable. They've had spectacular moves. This one is doing the exact opposite to the downside. No, I can't touch this one. Not yet. Anyway, next question came in. Uh, TITN. Did I do? do T yeah. Now I can do TITN. TN. We're looking at uh, Titan. Isn't this the big wheels? Oh, I used to have this all written up. Uh, Titan machinery. Don't they make the big tires or the big wheels or something? You see this low bar here? The whole thing about the Chapman wave is only at a peak D can the low bar be the high bar. Not anywhere else. When you start off a move, you can't call this leg A because you haven't made a trough. You have to make a higher low. That starts the move to the upside. So that's your peak A. Oh, oh. Uh, so folks, 
um, I, I was asked if I would do it. I, I've made it I kind of neat the time, but it is really so important in this particular market. I think I will be able to do Larry's show coming up as well. Larry's hour, not his show, but his hour. And of course, Larry gets a change next week. So yes, I'll stay. I'll do this next segment and then I'll stay for the next hour. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, yeah, whoa, there's a lot of questions coming. Let me just do this real quickly in this last segment. I'll do many more in the next hour when I do the, the 11 o'clock show. So um, uh, I'll, I'll go in sequence again. And so Titan... Is Titan Machinery, T-I-T-N, at 29.57, leg C, maybe a peak C today. I like this very much. It's in the right area. It needs to hold 28.30 to 27.50 on any pullback, a bigger pullback than like today. Um, but if it if it can break 31 next week, it's at 29.57. If it can break 31, close above 31, that not only improves the weekly chart, but it improves the monthly. So this is full service agriculture, construction equipment, advanced micro devices. Next one, AMD. Uh, AMD is trading at, it's right on the 200 period exponential moving average. It got to peak D. What's the objective to get you to a peak D? We are along the semiconductor, uh, uh, semiconductors via the SOXL. Uh, we've taken a little bit off today, nice 31% gain uh, just on that small position. Um, that, that we took off, that is. Um, most importantly, it, it, it's holding. And after that sell-off yesterday and then the terrific close, 
That's a nice action. And this is in the weekly chart. Look at the Chapman Wave inside track. It actually moved above it. So the key support now is it's 103. Next week, it has to, on any, any pullback, 97 is really important to hold. And I suspect it can get to the 106 area, but it might take, it, it, it might not hold there for a while. This 200 period moving average, I think it's going to be a magnet for a little while. Uh, next question was QQQ, QQQQ, we are along the QQQs. Uh, I think it's headed to 330, G-Man says. Uh, so 327 is the 200 period moving average. Now the question is, and I'll talk about this when we get back, someone remind me. Is this a potential Chapman Wave instant restart at a peak D, where two bars later it goes to leg E with the 200 period moving average just above it? I'll talk about that and talk about the Chapman Wave inside track when I get back, plus all those other questions that came in with the private sector. Um, have a shot. 